Do you have problems with being able to lift your arms over your head? Or maybe you have weakness out when you're putting your arms over here or in these types of positions? Well, if so, this is gonna be a great video for you to check out. My name is John Clark with the Posture Pain Connection. I'm certified by the Agoscu Institute to perform postural therapy. Today, we're talking about wall clock. Now, if you're familiar with my channel, you've watched before, you may have seen an exercise called floor blocks. And that's a pretty similar exercise. The difference with floor blocks, we're obviously on the floor with wall clock Clock, we're doing those same movements but on the wall. Now we're going to be moving through three different positions. You're going to want to hold each of them for at least 30 seconds and you don't need any equipment except for a wall. I got the uh, instructions, I've got the video queued up for uh, floor blocks in the cards or description down below if you want to check out that one. The big difference here is that this one is working on load bearing while we're working our arms through these positions. The other one is a little bit more, it's while, while floor blocks is more of a stretch because of the, the yoga blocks that we use, it is not focusing on load bearing. So you might want to go from floor blocks to wall clock. Or if you have problems getting on the ground, go from floor block. Eventually when you can get on the ground, go to, I'm sorry, start with wall, wall clock if you have problems uh, getting down on the ground. And then eventually once you get more range of motion, more mobility, you can move to the floor and do floor blocks to get that extra stretch. So let's get into those instructions. All right, the instructions for wall clock. Now, with wall clock, we're going to be utilizing, like in some other videos I've posted, golfer's grip. This is with our thumbs at 90 degrees. This is with our knuckles bent, but our fist not balled up. We are actively pulling back the fingers while bending them. Now, that is going, you should be able to even see this curve along the back. You can see how I'm not even just like this. They are fully back, thumbs at 90 degrees. You don't want to maintain that through all three positions of this exercise. Generally, you're going to hold this for 30 seconds to a minute in each position. So, to get started, we are going to come up against the wall, toes against the wall to the best of our ability, and now look what we're doing. See my feet? They are pigeon-toed. Both my toes are touching. That is very important to stretch out the hip flexors. Now, what do we do from here? We've got that golfer's grip. We're just going to go put our face against the wall and get our arms up and we are rotating out like this, the whole arm to the best of our ability. Just like that, holding it and not letting your toes curl up. Sometimes our toes might want to curl up because we don't have the uh, strength to push them to the ground. If you find that, actively make sure that you are pressing your toes into the ground. Now, from here, the second position is at 10 and two. So right about here, I'm gonna hold this for 30 seconds. Again, making sure that we are actively holding these arms in external rotation to the best of our ability. And finally, after 30 seconds to a minute there, we are going to the nine and three positions, just like this, boom. We are holding it there. 30 seconds to a minute in those, those positions. Now, just, I want to talk more about that external rotation. This is external rotation of the arms. I'm not doing it from the wrist, I'm doing the whole arm. I want to see as much of that as, I, as you can in each position. And uh, if you have trouble doing this exercise, like I mentioned in the intro to this video, check out floor blocks. If you have problems standing up, standing straight against the wall, the floor blocks might be a great way to do that. If you can't do floor blocks, go to modified floor block where you're just more in this position while on the ground. Now, those are going to be two modifications to this exercise if you can't do the full wall clock. The cards are in up here, the links are in the description down below. That's all I've got for, for a wall clock. 